With regular bloodlettings and a diet of beef, tea, and Brussels biscuits, I feel sure the headache and the weakness on the left side will dissipate. Morning, dearie. Morning. <laughs> Lovely day. Is it? Well, it's a bit nippy, if you ask me. Yes. <laughs> We're going to get a coat for Toby. Aren't we? <laughs> Come on, Toby. Here we go. You knew him well, the organist? Leslie. Oh, yes. Best part of ten years, I should think. I came across from the Stormos circuit, and uh, Leslie was already installed. Very nice gentleman. Variety? Oh, yes. I've opened the doors for all the greats. It's probably why Leslie and I got on so well. We'll need a next of kin. He was a single man, sir, much like myself. I'll miss my pal. He always had a friendly word, and he was a master of the Compton. The organ, sir. I used to play a bit myself, sir. The piano. In my younger days, of course, before him. Well, king and country, sir. So we had that in common, too. The music. What happened to the man who caused the disturbance earlier? I threw him out on his ear, sir. On the street, where he belongs. I know Arabs, sir. You can't trust a one of them. All right, you go back. You don't remember me, Mr. Valdemar? I'm afraid I don't. Should I? No. I suppose not, after 50 years. But I remember you. What? Second Lieutenant Roberts. Private Gordon, sir. Worcestershire Powers. Good Lord. Coming back to you now, sir. Nablus. That's right, sir. The advance to the Wadi El Farrar Road. You ordered our section to charge an Ottoman machine gun emplacement. That was the order that came down the line? No. Sir, the order that came down the line was to stand fast. I found that out later. The battle was already won, but young Second Lieutenant Roberts hadn't got himself a medal. And that wouldn't do. Mowed down. Our whole section. My brother Ernie among them. Cost him his life. I was lucky. Just an arm. And the hope of a life. A normal man's life, leastways. But we took that machine gun. And you got your medal. Of course, by the time I was discharged from hospital, the armistice had been signed. And nobody was much interested in how a dozen men died when the world was mourning 17 million. I was 19. Oh, I remember, sir. Scarce old enough to shave, but old enough to lie. It was your report of the action that stood in the regimental record. Made the papers too. How the brave young second lieutenant won through. I tried to forget it. That's the thing. To put it all behind me. And the only place, funnily enough, that I could put it out of my mind was at the pictures. And then one day, there you were. Up on the screen, large as life, larger. Only, you weren't Second Lieutenant Roberts anymore. You were Emil Valdemar, star of the Pharaoh's Curse. The smoke. That'll be Mr. Devere, sir. He's setting a fire to burn the place down so the owners will sell. Doesn't much matter now. What do you want? Justice. For the boys. After 50 years, an end to it. For you and me. We should have gone with them. Only we didn't. I can put that right now. 